Okay, you guys, I'm back. I am so mad. I'm going on and on about my dyes and explaining everything. And my camera has turned off for like, I don't know, seven or eight minutes. So, part two. Okay, so we, I talked about this um, before I was so rudely erupted by my camera. Okay, so the next one I got was um, Olivia. Okay, you guys, obsessed with Olivia. Look how beautiful this dye is. Okay, let me show you what she did. Because I, I also have samples. One second. She fell to the ground. Oh. I'm just making sure my camera's still on. That makes me nervous. Okay. What was nice is because we, me and her, me and Shonda were buying her dyes. She was giving us the samples. So if she gets done, we got the samples, which is great. So it's like we got to take... She gave us a free class, basically. Like a hundred, probably a hundred dollars free class. And we got to take the samples home. So we got examples so we can... Do what we learned when we got home. Okay, so this dye looks like this. Is this gorgeous or what, you guys? Okay, she cut this out of, she was cutting things out of Coke can. So this is the side of the Coke can. You could use this side. How gorgeous. She took this side and she used alcohol markers. Um, I believe she colored this one in after she cut it. But you can just go ahead and color the Coke can. Like just mark it up with a bunch of different alcohol markers. And then cut it out. But this one I think she did afterwards. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, she did. Look how gorgeous that is. Then, somehow she's, how she stacks it, and I'm not sure. I have to read my directions. I got directions. She uses a foam, like this really thin, fun foam, which I've never seen this thin, thin a fun foam. So it was like two bucks. We bought some of that. Probably should have bought more. She cuts it out, but it only embosses this. So then, if you want, you can take and you can stack it like this this pink and oh, come on oh my gosh this is making me mad okay it's not perfect but there you go you get the idea look how pretty that is see then you can take this piece you can take this piece and do something with it period by itself it's gorgeous you can take this piece she cut all this out at one time this is just white cardstock and look how gorgeous that is is this dye just beautiful? This dye is like everything. Okay, then I got this other one, and I believe this lady is called, okay, El, Elentina. That's what it is, Elentina Cutting Dyes. Okay, Elentina was that um, hummingbird, what I thought was gorgeous. But here's the butterfly. Now, you can cut this out of the um, out of a can again and um, color it up with your alcohol inks. Take the wings and bend the wings up so your wings are like this. And then she took this beautiful other dye right here and laid it, you know, like how it has the stem here, or not stem, but whatever this piece is for the for the butterfly. She put this here, you guys. So can you imagine that all colored up and the wings are folded up like that and you have her laying there? It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So that's another dye I got. Love that one. Absolutely love Olivia. This has to be probably my favorite one. You guys, just one second while I put all the pieces back. All the pieces are so gorgeous. So happy I came home with samples. I can't wait to play with all this. Okay, um, I'm going to be a die-cutting fool. Okay, next is this one. Okay, this, okay, and these dies are not cheap, you guys. This die right here, this um, tattered lace. Uh, Olivia, how much was this? I think this was like 25 bucks or something. It was not cheap. Um, this one right here was like 21. The hummingbird was 20. The hummingbird one, like I said, me and her split it. So it was 11 a piece. But like Shonda said, it is totally worth to buy dies and stamps because you have them forever. And Shonda really stuck to her guns and bought dies and stamps. And I was very, very smart. So way to go, Shonda. Um, okay. But next, um, is this peacock. This peacock is gorgeous. So here's the die. Okay. Again, how she stacks it with the fun foam. Let me just go through it. Okay. She did a lot of samples of the peacock. It's just really cool. Okay. Here's the can, which was a Coke can. Look how gorgeous a Coke can looks. Obsessed. Then this is the side where she used the, the silver side of the Coke can and she um, alcohol marked the whole thing. And I'm pretty sure she, yeah, she alcohol marked the can, the can before she did it and then cut it out. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. She did all this at the same time when I'm going to show you. Then she has a piece of just white cardstock that she stacked in there. 
and you can okay so there's that then okay because of how she stacked it with this foam okay I don't know if she did. I don't know if she did all this at one time or not. But somehow she, the way she stacks it, I can't even explain how she does it. I'm gonna have to look at my direction because of the foam in there. Let me show you. This is the one she did first, and this is gorgeous. This is from this paper here, which is absolutely gorgeous. When she used the fo the foam, backed up, it jammed the pieces that are left over from this into this. Isn't that gorgeous? So I'm not sure how you do this technique with the fun foam, but I'm going to figure it out. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Okay. And then she cut out this piece. Some pieces are left in and some pieces are out, but this is gorgeous too. This is just out of white cardstock. And some of the silver pieces were left in here. Okay. Um, th that was just gorgeous. And then this is a sample of her taking the different color paper or different color, um, like Tim Holtz inks. She used a different ink. And make your own paper. And then you can take and put glitter on here. And then you can either emboss this or cut this out. Because she cut a little bit of it out. And look how gorgeous it comes out. So that was another good technique we learned. Just make your own paper. Which I just thought about this, you guys. I make that uh, blob paper. And I also make jelly prints. This stuff would be gorgeous. Add some jelly print paper or my blob paper I make. So... I just thought about that. When she said make your own paper, I do make my own paper. Okay. So I cannot wait to play with this. I'm going to have a day that I just let myself play with my dies, which will probably hopefully be tomorrow. I was getting my Halloween video that's going up too. It might already be up. And I was focusing on getting all my Halloween stuff done and getting these videos up. So... I'm going to be playing with my stuff for the next few days. Oh my gosh, i got to be careful. Sorry, you guys. I'm trying to put my stuff away right now because these everything is so delicate. I don't want to ruin anything. Okay. Okay, I'm good. All right. I'm going to put this in too. Next. Oh, this is a gorgeous die. It's called a Millie Boot. Now, I don't have a sample for this one. I don't know if she cut anything out of the Millie Boot, but it's really cool. Check out that die. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. Oh, can't wait to play with that one. That was the one I saw first that I wanted really bad. And again, this one was, I don't know, they were all between $20 and $25. One of them was almost $30. Bucks. Um, this is a really fun one. It's that L Elantina cutting dies. Look how many butterflies you get. So gorgeous. And you can make, she has all kinds of fun stuff with this. You can make earrings out of these too. How gorgeous would that be? Or she added the big butterfly. She made a pendant and wore it. I think she was wearing it. And she wasn't wearing it. I saw something I made, was made a pendant. You can make a hair, like a, a hair bread out of this. How pretty would that be? Put on one of the big bands and put it in your hair. I'm telling you guys, these things are everything. When I start playing around, I'll make a video. I promise. I always promise. And I don't always do it. But I will make a tutorial just playing around once I experiment with everything, okay? Now, I got this. This is really cool because these dies are so intricate. They have all these little small pieces. And you would spend forever in a day getting all, picking out all the pieces. So forget that. You just roll this little roller across, and it picks out all the pieces for you. I'm not going to take it out, but it has a little roller. And you just go like this, just roll it, and all those little pieces come out. Okay, you guys, my cameras are ready to shut off, and I don't want to be shut off for the second time. Thank you guys so much. I had the best time. Thank you, girls. I can't wait to do it again next year or do it even sooner. Oh, it was such a great weekend. It's one of the best weekends of my life. Shonda, thank you so much for being my travel buddy and, and staying at the hotel with me. And we just had the best time. And I absolutely love you, Shonda. I love all you girls. And um, I will talk to you guys in the next video before I cut off. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>